Hi, I'm Sharon Ross with Capital City Arts Initiative. We're here at the Community Development Building, also called The Brick, where we have our student gallery. This exhibition is Fresh Outlook 2023 with work by 25 students from Western Nevada College. Um, we're delighted to have several of them come in and talk to us about their work. Thank you for watching. Hello, Stanley Jukester again. Um, this is my second piece showcased here. Um, I called it Snake in the Grass. Um, this was a piece I made in my second semester of ceramics, so I wanted to expand on what I had learned the first semester and kind of build upon it. And so I chose this uh, inspiration because my dog and I spent a lot of time in the hills and <laughs> we've run into our fair share of rattlesnakes and I just wanted to kind of have a conversation piece and something um, I gifted it to my sister for her birthday so um, it's got a little personal value to it too um, and I'm really happy with how this one turned out so <laughs> thank you very much. Hello, my name is Jessica Visnovitz. I took Rachel Stiff's painting class in Western Nevada College. This is my self-portrait, portrait of the artist in class. I did this painting in oil paints and it was my final assignment in Rachel's class.
Hello, I'm John Lagios. I'm a retired neurologist uh, here. I've been here since uh, 2001 and before that in Connecticut. And um, I've been doing photography since I was in medical school, which was in 1966, uh, pardon me, 69. Got my first camera. Didn't do darkroom stuff though until uh, the year I spent uh, as, in the public health service, the, the, um, at Shiprock, New Mexico, in the um, uh, at the Navajo Indian Reservation, that was the first time I had a dark room, and I got hooked on that. And um, except for then, when I went back from my residency, I've always been working in the dark room. However, um, recently, uh, maybe oh, well, maybe ten years ago, because I was in solo practice here, everything went from film to digital. Well. I'm not too bright when it comes to technology, so, um, and I and when I was doing darkroom at my home, uh, I was able to do colored printing because they had the chemicals at that time. Well, over time, uh, we can, I can't get the chemicals, so I haven't been doing any of that. So I decided uh, last uh, fall that I would take a course in introduction to digital photography from. Matthew Thelen up at the college. Well, um, I think I, I, I'm surprised that he didn't jump out the window after every, cla every class and the assignments, and I always had trouble doing and understanding them, but he was so good, and I was able to get through it. So I, um, I praise him as a, my teacher. Um, as being tolerant with a, a nut like me, and um, he really, really does well. I would recommend it all. Well, the pictures that I have here, uh, this one uh, was one that I took uh, in the, in the course. We had to we had to do all of our um, photography in black and white, and we we had to put it in the in the um, the manual mode. So we had that that was challenging, but. And I was, um, I was just going up to Reno, but I took the back, um, and I saw these, uh, these uh, horses raising out there. So I took a bunch of pictures, and I, this is the one that I, that I brought to class. And, uh, and uh, this, was, this was taken, um, well, there's snow on the ground, so I think it was probably taken in uh, of last year, maybe early December. And, um, that's that's just one of the black and whites that I, I did with the, in the class. Now this one, this one of course is at the um, the uh, camel races up in uh, uh, Virginia City. I came here from Connecticut in 2001, and I heard about this exhibit and this uh, event. And eventually, my sisters had come up from San Francisco. So we decided we would go up and, and see what it was all about. Oh my God, I couldn't believe these, I couldn't believe these, these people. First of all, a people, a person sitting on a camel and racing around this, this, this field here. And uh, it was just amazing. And then um, they had um, on llamas, llamas, and they would race. It was totally incredible. We all enjoyed enjoyed it and it was it was a lot of fun we we're fortunate to have a very nice day yeah. now this uh, this photo which is uh, called reflections when I was back in uh, Connecticut uh, in Hershey Pennsylvania in the in I think it's September they always had an antique sh car show and it was totally incredible and I started going to that and I was taking photographs. I was sleeping in the back of my uh, uh, Volvo station wagon. And the, the, the number and the beauty of these antique cars, truly amazing. Um, the, uh, the actual show uh, started on, on Saturday, but before that they had people who sold things for cars and anything. And the, um, on Saturday morning, the cars start coming in about six o'clock. 
they come in, they go around, the, around where they're, the person who's bringing them in, and then they go in and they park in their, in their lot. The, the, the last car came in after nine o'clock. I could not, I never, anyway, it was, it was beautiful. So I, uh, I took pictures, I took like black and white and colored pictures. I have a huge number of them. But I liked this one. I, I was walking around and I, I happened to see the reflection of this antique car in the, um, the back of uh, a, um, the, the uh, drive, the, the light. It, it, you can see with pretty good detail the, the car, the aspects of the car, and then you could see a person behind there looking into the, to, under the, um, into the, the engine area and people out here and you can even see the back, the back tire. I was very, very fortunate uh, to get uh, the right exposure, and that is my story. Thank you. Hi, my name is Meg Clasco, and this is my ceramic piece. Uh, it's called Flower Pot. I was trying to be ironic, but um, my motivation is I've done pottery throughout my life, and uh, I took a gap about 20 years between the first time I did it and doing these, and I learned new techniques and um, was really excited about learning new things. Hello, my name is Stanley Jukester. Um, this is my ceramic vase. Um, I titled it, Beware You Wary Travelers. Um, I chose to go with a nautical theme. This was the first ever piece I ever made in ceramics. Um, so I coil built the whole thing and then I wanted something a little bit different than a normal lighthouse. So I chose this Lovecraftian kind of, kind of like it's a dream world type Thing, and I am pretty happy with how it turned out um, for my first ever ceramics piece.
Hello, my name is Jessica Visnovitz. I took Rachel Stiff's painting class at Western Nevada College. This here is my piece titled God's Hand. Uh, and this piece is the product of joining together two ideas that I'm really fascinated by. Uh, the first being the uh, mythos of the Golden Age of Las Vegas, and the second being the story of Judith and Holofernes from the Old Testament Apocrypha. And at the intersection of these two ideas, I found a lot of really fun parallels between the stories of Judith, uh, the widow from the holy city of Bethulia, who beheaded the general that was besieging her town, and Jude, the showgirl from Las Vegas, Sin City, uh, who beats uh, a high roller at the poker table. Um, and this is the core idea of my piece, God's Hand, which is itself kind of a cheeky title, simultaneously evoking the ideas of God's Hand in Judith's mission, of God's Hand as playing cards, and of the God on the casino floor, Lady Luck. Hello, my name is Nancy Clark. These are two of my photographs that I have entered. 
Uh, the top one is called the Sentinel, and I, the Eagle, and this one is just peaceful. I love it. It's Palo Colorado Road up by Big Sur, and it's just a really favorite place that we love to go. And uh, I don't even know if that place exists now because of the big fires and everything and the floods and whatnot, but I'm very thankful that I have the picture and I might send a copy of it to the people that, live, that had lived there. And so that's my stuff and I just love art and I love nature and everything and I really love my teacher, Rachel Stiff. Hi, my name is Meg Clasco, and um, I did a couple of photographs, and the top one is Edge of Rain, and the bottom one is Spring Dew. Uh, I really love taking photographs, and I usually take it in color, and I wanted to learn something new, so I started taking photos in black and white, and uh, had a lot of fun learning new techniques of being in a dark room, and um, I really had fun with all of my teachers and my classmates. Thank you to the students for coming and talking to us about their work. Um, and also, thank you to their faculty that helped them and taught them all this school, past school year. So we want to thank Terry Barnes, Jana Conkey, Rachel Mosley, Colleen Reynolds, Rachel Stiff, and Matt Thielen. Thank you to the students again for sharing their work. And you can follow CCAI at our website, which is ccainv.org. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And if you go to our YouTube channel, you can see all the videos that we have been producing um, for the past number of years about exhibitions. In case you missed any of the exhibitions, you can see them. And we thank our generous funders who are listed on the following slide. Thanks.